Is it possible that Xbox Game Pass has more subscribers than the combined total of EA Access and PlayStation Now? Is it possible that Xbox Game Pass revenue accounts for 30% of all Xbox revenue total? Man, if this information was true, it would be a feather in the cap for Microsoft. But I'm not so sure it is. What's going on, guys? Randall Thor19, the man with the million, back again with another video. Hope everyone is having a great day. So you may have seen a lot of people today sharing around some information from a website called VideoGamesChronicle.com. Now, normally when I do these rumors and speculation videos, I always give the source because it's important to know where the information is coming from to see if they're credible. And quite frankly, I've never heard of Video Games Chronicle until today. But what is getting everybody up in a tizzy is their claims that Xbox Game Pass has 9 million, that's right, 9 million subscribers and that accounts for somewhat of 30% of the total Xbox revenue. Now, I thought about this a little bit earlier, busted out the calculator, and said that's not possible whatsoever, the revenue portion. But I'm gonna throw up the article on screen here. They wrote an article today uh, by the author Paul Davies. It basically says, inside Microsoft's plans for the next Xbox, VGC investigates Microsoft two-prong strategy for next gen. They talk about Xbox Anaconda and they talk about Xbox Lockhart, but they also mention Game Pass here. The quote goes, we understand that Game Pass accounts for an impressive percentage of Xbox revenue and our sources see this as a major factor in the Scarlet Equation. It's a service that Sony cannot easily rival with the PlayStation 5. But if you keep on reading the article, it goes on to say, that Microsoft has not revealed exact subscriber numbers for Game Pass, but we have learned that there are currently some 9.5 million monthly users. And Game Pass is an attractive proposition for publishers and developers, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Now, you notice that the percentage that I mentioned, 30%, isn't included in this article. He did update it and say that they've removed the percentage figure from the article while they seek clarification over its context, because it absolutely doesn't make any sense. Xbox basically makes $10 billion in revenue a year. 30% of that is, well, quite a lot of money. Three billion, right? And even if you only had nine million subs, you're only getting about a billion dollars, and that's assuming you get nine million every single month, which would be 90 million, which ends up to be about a billion towards the end of the year. So the math doesn't work out. So no surprise that they removed that percentage figure because it absolutely does not make any sense. But onto the number here, 9.5 million. That is an impressive figure. If that was true, I would imagine Microsoft, Phil Spencer would be shouting it from the rooftops because it would undoubtedly be the biggest subscription service in gaming, definitely bigger than PlayStation Now, which Sony revealed in their last earnings call was only at 700,000 subs. And that was up 40% from the year before. It's not growing that fast and we never really had numbers for it until recently. And then you have EA Access, which has been around for quite some time as well. And in the last earnings report, EA said that EA Access combined with Origin Premier has about 3.5 million subs. So here you go here with Video Games Chronicle basically saying that Microsoft's Game Pass has 9.5 million, which is be way more combined than EA Access and PlayStation Now. So I don't really think it's true. The numbers don't add up with the math. Microsoft would be shouting this from the rooftops. We know that they at least have millions of subscribers. Phil Spencer said that at XO18. That could be anywhere between 1.1 million to 2 million to 5 million to 7 million. That's the thing with Microsoft. We don't know exactly how well any of their products are doing. We don't know how many consoles they sold, how many copies of a games they've sold, 
and we cer certainly don't know how many subscribers they have to Xbox Game Pass. We don't know how many have used a free trial. We don't know how many pick up Game Pass on these incredible deals that they offer. Like currently, right now, you can get three months of Xbox Game Pass for a single buck. There's like 200 games in the service. Gears 5 is gonna be in there soon. Ori and, and The Will of the Wisps is gonna be in there soon. It's a great service. But 9.5 million right now, after a couple years? No, I don't think so. I think they're completely wrong on this. They're gonna have egg on their face when they eventually come back and have to retract this statement and saying they misread it or their source was completely wrong. I mean, think about it. PlayStation Now, 700,000 subs. EA Access, 3.5 million subs. And they've been around a lot longer than Xbox Game Pass. And sure, Game Pass is marketed heavily on the dashboard. It has its own tab. Microsoft does monthly updates, which I usually cover here on the channel. But 9 million, that is a ton. And I think they'll reach that eventually. This is all setting the groundwork for next generation when a couple years into Xbox Anaconda and, and Xbox Lockhart's life cycle, they could probably reach that number. I mean, that is the goal. But they're definitely not at 9 million right now. And if you want my take on it, they're probably anywhere between PlayStation Now's number and EA Access's number. I believe they have more than PlayStation Now. And I think they m could be kind of close to EA Access. So I think they're probably anywhere between 1.5 million and 4 million. But 9 million? No, I just, I just can't believe that. And everything else about the whole 30% of the total revenue, it just doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. But anyways, guys, that's the video. I just wanted to put this out because a ton of you hit me up about it, asking me if it's possible. Is it possible that Xbox Game Pass is destroying PlayStation now and, and EA Access? And, well, I don't, think it's po I don't think it's true. And if it was true, I think Microsoft would be beating their chest about it. They'd be s talking about it everywhere because Game Pass is such an integral part of what they're doing for next generation. Anyways, guys, that's the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a comment below. Tell me what you think, think about this whole situation. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Share this out on social media. Tell a friend about the channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want to be notified every time I drop a new video, make sure to hit that notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.